If you go to the GitHub homepage and scroll to the bottom, your eyes will be treated with one of the most beautiful effects to ever exist. This rotating animated globe. How in hell was this created? If you look closely, you see animated lines stretching from one point to another across the globe. And upon hovering over the lines, it shows information regarding different commits being made or repositories being accessed by users across the world real time. I mean, how cool is that? And I can even click on the globe and rotate it around. Personally, this blew my mind and made me curious to figure out how this was made. So here are 5 steps that can help you create this. First is 3JS. Looking at the globe, a 3D object, I was convinced 3JS would be the most suitable option. 3JS provides a wide range of built-in functionalities for creating and animating 3D scenes, including support for cameras, lights, materials, geometries, and animations. Implementing the 3D Earth globe effect likely involves creating a 3D model of the Earth by using geometry such as the shape of the sphere provided by 3JS. Then we can define materials for the Earth's surface such as applying texture by mapping the image of the Earth onto the sphere. After that, we just set up a scene to hold the 3D model, add the model to the scene as a mesh, and set up a renderer to render the scene using WebGL. All of this can be done by 3JS which provides a high level abstraction over WebGL, making it easier to create and manipulate 3D graphics in the browser for visually appealing and interactive visualizations like this earth globe effect. Step 2 would be acquiring geospatial data. The lines in the globe show the location from which the commits are being made, and that's why GitHub needs geospatial data to determine the location of commits being made around the globe. This data could come from various sources such as the IP addresses associated with commits, which can be used to obtain approximate geolocation information. GitHub may also use a geolocation service or an IP to location mapping API to get accurate geospatial data. Step 3 would be real-time data fetching. To display real-time commits data on the globe, GitHub would need to fetch the commit data from their backend systems. This could involve making API calls to GitHub servers to fetch commit data in real-time or near real-time. The commit data could include information such as commit timestamps, authors, and associated geolocation data. Step 4 would be data processing. So once the commit data is fetched, it needs to be processed to determine the corresponding locations of the 3D Earth globe. This could involve converting the geolocation data like latitude and longitude into 3D coordinates that can be used to position the commits on the globe's surface. GitHub may also need to clear up or filter the commit data to control the density of the visualizations and ensure a smooth and visually appealing effect instead of having a bunch of commits overlapping one another. And step number 5, the last step would be animation and styling. The lines and points that represent commits being made on the globe are likely animated to create the dynamic effect. GitHub may use JavaScript animations such as the CSS animation API or custom animation techniques to animate the lines and points. This could involve updating the 3D coordinates of the commits over time to create the illusion of real-time commits being made on the globe. And that's it. Following the above 5 steps should get us somewhere close to creating something like this. If you had some other points in mind, feel free to comment down your thoughts. That's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.